Hey guys, it's YB and Herbert. So today we are doing a what we eat during the weekend video. So last time we did a what we eat during the week, like what we eat in a day video. This time we are doing what we eat during the weekend. During the week, we try to cook more nowadays and eat at home a lot. While the weekends usually are our cheat days. So come with us. Right, well, let's just start from a simple breakfast. This is what I eat every day during the week. Same as what I showed in the video last time. But I ate two of my mini breakfast muffins and a kale smoothie. I put some ice in here. We got some kale. Then a banana. Do you eat breakfast usually? I a little bit. I do eat some fruit and also a shake, but not that much in the morning. Yeah, Herbert doesn't eat that much in the morning. And I have my supplement powder that I always add. It's a Bellway Super Fiber. It has a nice flavor to my smoothie. Lastly, water. And that is how I make my smoothie. It's a bit full, huh? <laughs> I, well, I mean, it's always this full when I make it. You just squish it down all the way. That's what she said. Mm. Mm. It is actually very good. All right, now it's time to feed the pets. Louie, do you want your breakfast? Good boy. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, here today we're with Louie and we're gonna show you Farmer's Dog. So thank you Farmer's Dog for sponsoring this video. So Farmer's Dog is a fresh dog food that's delivered straight to your door. Better for dogs of all ages, breeds, and lifestyles. Focusing on the pet health and wellness. So Louis eats twice a day breakfast and dinner and he is so excited to eat his Farmer's Dog food because it's fresh. You keep them frozen like this, but when you're ready to feed them, you can put it in the fridge to thaw them. You can keep it in the fridge for up to four days after thawing, or you can keep it in the freezer for up to six months. Farmer's dog recipes has meat, green vegetables, fiber-rich foods, and supplemental nutrients to keep the fresh recipes nutritionally complete and balanced while keeping them healthy and feeling full longer. It's pretty simple to start. You go on their website and take a little quiz. You can tell them their age, breed, and any health complications. Then, Farmer's Dog will create a personally portioned plan to meet your dog's nutritional and caloric needs. After eating Farmer's Dog for a while, Louis seems way more energetic and especially he really looks forward to his meal time. He finishes every single bite clean and is looking forward for more. And the best part for me is the convenience. They are delivered right to your door so you never will run out and you don't have to go to a store to get it. So try out Farmer's Dog for your dogs. You can use the link in my description box below to get 50% off your first order. Check out my link below and now back to the video. All right, so now it's lunch time. So now it's lunch time. We are cooking lunch, but we are eating different stuff today. Usually we eat the same things, but we have a lot of stuff in the fridge we need to get rid of. Herbert's eating gross vegetables. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> so Herbert's eating his healthy bowl. What are you making? I'm gonna make some shrimp and veggies mm -hmm. and put some other stuff in it. Like a healthy bowl. Well, I am making. What are you making? So I have some kim, which is seaweed. I have some seaweed left over from a video we filmed last weekend. It's not out yet. We will let you know soon. I'm gonna make some kimbap with kimchi fried rice. So it's gonna be kimchi fried rice kimbap and also ramen because I haven't had shin ramen in a while. So I thought those two would go well together. So I'm eating very unhealthy while Herbert is very healthy. So I'm cooking kimchi fried rice here right now. The key to a good kimchi fried rice is to add sesame oil. So sesame oil has a really good flavor to the kimchi fried rice or to anything really. So what are you cutting over there? Some turkey ham. I know the mix is kind of weird. The shrimp, but I like it. So you're adding shrimp and turkey together. Correct. Why? Weird, but no. Why is the fridge door open? Because. Um... <laughs> and that's open. Oh my goodness. That's his shrimp. That's my yummy kimchi fried rice. I added some cheese in there. We have a seaweed roller that we're gonna use. Okay, so we got the seaweed. I'm 
made three rolls of kimbap. Not the most perfect, but good enough for today. How's it going over here? It's a meal. <laughs> Very colorful. Now we are going to go over here and grab a shin ramen and make one. Of course, we have to add an egg. Wow, so colorful. All right, we got our lunchies. Enjoy the food. To her friend. Wanna try? No. <laughs> and it's gonna explode once I eat it. Mmm. Mmm. It didn't explode and it's yummy. Try it, bye. It's like rice. Hmm? It's like rice. I could have added some spam, I guess, ham, but it's still good. I would call it a success. All right, so it is Friday dinner, and I like to call this Friday because we have a tradition of ordering in Friday nights and watching a movie. And the thing we do like to order is boiling crab. Not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite <gasps> times of the week. Aww. So you guys know boiling crab used to be my favorite, one of my favorite meals. I'm surprised Herbert started liking it. We do order quite a lot. We get 1.5 pounds of shrimp, two sausage links, three corn, three potatoes, and extra seasoning. <laughs> we get it mild so we can both enjoy. Um, and we get the whole shebang. That's the that's the sauce. Not a challenge. A little spicy, even the mild. Ooh. And the movie. <laughs> Wrong hole. That's what she said. Ah. Hmm? Wrong hole. Ah. It's gonna be a spicy one. The movie is about to start, so see you later. Yeah. And we're done. Ooh, that was spicy today. <laughs> okay, we are on a Hollywood sign hike this morning. Okay, we just got home from the hike and now we're gonna make some food and after that I have to go to my hair appointment, so... So, today we do a similar bowl but a little different. Mm -hmm. it turkey, eggs, cauliflower, beans, some turkey, bacon, avocado and some seasoning. And you know, we all mix it up, put it in a bowl, eat it. This is the yummy version of the bowl. Now I'm in a rush, I'm going to get my hair done. So I'm going to my hairstylist. I'm not gonna get it cut because I'm trying to grow it out, but I need to fix my roots because it's all grown out. I'm here in downtown. We're going to a quick pool party with my friends. So I'm gonna eat something here because I'm starving. I haven't eaten since breakfast. So yeah, let's see what we have here. Unfortunately, there weren't too many options there, so I only had guacamole, chips, and tequila. But Kelsey and I went to dinner straight after. We went to Kimpa Paradise, which is a restaurant in K-Town, and I got kimchi jjigae, which is kimchi stew, spicy pork with rice, and tteokbokki, which is spicy rice cakes. They were so good. Good morning! Today is Sunday, and as our Sunday tradition, we like to go to brunch together. So Sundays we wake up really late. Today we woke up at 11, no shame. Well, usually I go to a workout in the morning. True. But my shoulder hurts, so I was able to sleep in today. Excuses, excuses. I went out last night with some friends. Excuse and me? <laughs> and I got home late, so it makes sense that I slept in, you know? But since it is Sunday, we are going to our favorite brunch spot in Burbank. It's called Bernie's Beanery. Today we won't be doing mimosas because one, 
I can't drink anymore after last night. And two, <laughs> uh, we have to bring Louis to Petco for grooming. Our normal orders here are Nacho Mama's nachos with chicken, a jumbo sized chili, Barney's classic burger, and French toast combo. Yes, we eat a lot. That is our meal. We just dropped Louis off at Petco for his grooming. We're gonna pick him up in two hours again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said he'll be done in about two, three hours. So until then, we're probably gonna go home and nap <laughs> because we're very full from the brunch. Okay, we just napped. <laughs> and we heard that Louis is done already for pickup. Coco slept with us, it was very cute, stretchy. And then, do we eat <laughs> dinner? Or we wait a little? Wait a little. Still full? Still kind of full. What about you? I could eat. <laughs> Change into a comfier outfit. Same. Oh yeah, your oh your shorts changed. Yay, we got Louie! Louie! Louie, look! Oh, we're looking so sad. <laughs> Feels betrayed. But he's all clean now. What do you want for dinner tonight? BCD. You want BCD? Yes, I would like to take it to BCD. Okay. BCD is Bukchangdong Sundubu. It's a Korean chain of uh, tofu soup, a spicy tofu soup with a lot of Korean side dishes. It's very yummy. BCD is one of our favorite Korean restaurants. It's open 24 7 and has huge portions. Herbert gets the bulgogi combo with ham and sausage tofu soup, and I get the spicy pork bulgogi combo with kimchi tofu soup. Well, we're back home now. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming with me, Ruby. Thanks for coming Thanks with for me. Thanks for coming with me. Thanks for coming with me. Thanks for coming with me. So that was our what we eat during the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. I did too. We had a lot of oh, the lights this way. We had a lot of great food. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.